and welcome, I'm the one and only West Coast King, and welcome back to the Sounders career, where things are going to get very, very interesting today. Here's a look at what we got going on, we're just entering December, which means we have a month left before the January transfer window, and there's something we got to talk about uh, heading into that transfer window, but here's a look at the schedule, what we got going on today. We got LA first, they're actually in horrific form, they slipped all the way to 19th place in the league, something I did not expect from them, I expected them to be one of the better teams in the league. And they're almost in the relegation zone. Then we play Fulham. They're actually in fifth place. That should be a very good game. Then, you know, we have this slight little cup quarterfinal against Chelsea. Nothing to talk about there. And then we play Bolton, or uh, not Bolton, but Blackburn and Ipswich. Both teams in the relegation zone, 22nd and 23rd places, respectively. I'll probably simulate both of those games just so we don't uh, start next episode with a simulation. And then we'll start next episode against Brighton and Hove. They're actually in seventh place. Now... On to what we need to talk about today. So as you can see, we are 18 points clear of 6th place and the last playoff spot to earn promotion for next season. I think we're pretty safe to say that we're going to at least be in the running to earn promotion. So I'm not really worried about where we are in the league right now. And I only bring that up because Obafemi Martins is going to leave. I mentioned that last episode. He said he's homesick. His agent said there's nothing we can offer him to make him stay at the club. So we are going to have to sell him. And I'm just not sure if I should do it in January in the upcoming transfer window or wait till the end of the season. Remember, we also are desperate for a left back at this point. We need a left back probably in this next transfer window. And if we sell Oba, we're also going to need a striker. Now, the striker I mentioned last episode that I didn't say his name, the one I really, really want is Chicharito. In this career mode, he has not moved to Leverkusen. He's still on an expiring contract in Manchester United. So we could get him if we sell Oba Femi Martins. But what I really want your guys' opinion on in the comments is, should we sell Oba and go after a striker, maybe Chicharito on a pre-contract for next season, which means that we run the rest of this season without really a top-notch striker. We put Valdez up there. We can put Nagel up there if we need to. We also have Mansouray, though he's only 55 rated, as a backup last-ditch option. So we're kind of okay at striker. But, or should we wait until the end of the season to sell Obafemi Martins and try to work out a striker then? So, that's what I really want your opinions on. And if so, like, who do we go after as a striker if we sell him in January? Because honestly, Chicharito's the only one I have in mind. Maybe there's better options out there. I don't know. Let me know. But the thing I do know is right now, we got to go play the LA Galaxy. So, let's go. Here is a look at LA starting 11. I just, I don't know why they're so low in the table. I really did not expect them to be that far down. They've got a very good starting 11. They got some people with European experience, specifically Gerard, who's been in England all his life. Uh, Dos Santos, Keen. I just don't know why they're so low. And our starting 11, like I said last episode, we're changing things up. We've changed the formation a little bit. We're going with more wide wingers instead of a narrow formation. We've got a center attacking mid in there now, and Ivan is playing in his natural position. Hopefully this can change things up for us so we can score, score a couple of goals in this game. Oh, for fuck's sake with that. Holy shit! Sardes just hit a fucking laser beam! Well, there wasn't anything I could do about that one! Good god, Giassi Zardes! Maybe I should go after Zardes as a striker, because that was a sick strike! There we go. Good turn. Marnagle and son of a bitch. There you go. Yes, Brad Evans. Brad Evans to Oba and an equalizer just like that a quick reply and it's all knotted up at one Brad Evans with a great high pressure getting the ball back putting it across to Oba and he puts the ball in the back of the net man we needed that one we really really did need that one oh no not again Zardes god Zardes his movement is causing me all sorts of problems I don't know how to mark him. He, he's supposed to be playing like the right midfield spot. He's all over the freaking field. And another one. Yes, out to it's Brad. Oh shit, Brad. Oh, there you go. And through. It's Marco. Marco puts it home. And it's 2-1 over LA. What a freaking pass. I don't even know who that was in there. But that was a superb finish for Marco Papa. We've got the lead over LA. Well, now I see why LA has kind of slipped a little bit in the standings. Their defense is not what it once was. I didn't look at the defensive line in the starting 11. You can go back and look. I doubt very seriously if they have some of the players that they normally have in there. Because that was poor defense. Cut it in. Yes, Marco. Lay it off. 
There's Obafemi! Obafemi scores! It's 3-1 over LA shortly before halftime! That was just a quick counterattack. Something I've not been able to do in this game at all is counterattack. That was a superb one. Okay, we don't want we don't want Chad Marshall with the ball here. There we go. There we go. What a passing sequence! Oh, what a save from Ricketts! Oh, no, I screwed that up with Brad Evans. And with Chad Marshall. Oh, what a tackle from Torres! What a life-saving tackle! Oh, good win back from Nagel. Gets the ball up to Valdez. Valdez, can you cut it in? He can't. Valdez, go ahead and have the shot. Ricketts again! Just swing the ball back in. They're all out of sorts. No, but it's back post. Dang it! Donovan Ricketts has turned into a freaking machine in the second half. And that is the final whistle right there. Woo! That was a good win. That was a very, very good performance from us. Much better than last episode. We pick up all three points on the road against LA. I'm kind of seeing why LA is towards the bottom of the table now. They're not very good. So that win actually extends our lead atop the table to 11 points now over Hull City. And we're nearly 20 points clear in the safe zone from falling out of the top six. We're really, really doing well. A lot better than I thought we were going to do this season. Despite some struggles here and there, we're on a pretty good roll right now. Hopefully we can keep that going. Fulham is up next. Here is a look at our starting 11 for this one against Fulham. And I've left Nagel in there. I'm sticking with the same formation, obviously. I'm leaving Nagel in there, but I'm going to bring in Guedes in place of Papa. Ivancic stays in there. Oh, I forgot to bring back uh, Ozzy Alonso. Oh, well. Brad Evans is going to get the start in there instead. And here's a look at Fulham starting 11. They're still pretty good. They got McCormick up top. Yeah, they're a good team. Oh, they have, Tom they have Kearney. Kearney. I like Kearney. He's pretty good. Oh, they have Luke Garbutt as well. Pretty decent side. We have a corner now. Early in this one, we're going to take it short. Who is that? It's Oba. Actually, Oba, can you have a shot? Ooh, that was not too bad. Not bad at all. Play it off. Yes, another one. Yes. Can you get the shot off? He That actually went in. He was off sides. Gutierrez was off sides. I have no idea how that ball ended up in the back of the net. That was a terrible angle to take it from. But it doesn't matter. I couldn't get the pass off, and he's not off sides. I don't know what they're talking about. Nagel is through. Nagel, hold it up. Play it. There's Oba. Fire it, Oba. Dang it. It's low and wide. I just can't score a goal right now. There we go. Oh, you were offsides, weren't you? Nagel was, might have been offsides. He might not have been. Apparently, he wasn't. And Oba Femi Martins puts it in the back of the net. It's a good thing I kept playing that thing. I swear Nagel was offsides on that play. No flag went up. We've got the lead over Fulham shortly before halftime. I swear Nagel was like five yards offside. It wasn't even close. But they didn't flag for it, and that was a beautiful finish from Obafemi Martin's back post. Uh-oh. Good one to play. Whoa, Stephen Fry. Man, Stephen Fry lately has really stepped up his game. That was another huge save from our keeper. Man, he's been good. Hey, keep it going. Keep the pressure on. Ivan Schitz, yes. Over here to Oba. Oba's got a shot! Oba Femi Martin is just... Where the hell did that come from? How did he get that much power behind it? I don't care. It's Oba Flip's time at CenturyLink Field. 2-0 over Fulham. Oh, Oba. Oba's wide open in the middle of the field. The counterattack of dreams. Just give it over there. Put it in the back of the net. It's 3-0 over Fulham. We hit him real quick on that counterattack. Oba gave up a shot at a hat trick to get that goal, but I wanted to make sure we were secure in this one. I think it's Ivanchis that's going to end up with a goal. Fair play. Ivanchis has had a lot of assists these last couple games after this formation switch. Oba Femi Martins has benefited from a lot of those assists. Now it's time for him to repay the favor. It is 3-0 over Fulham. Oh, look at all the space. Look at all the space for Hachi Mastor. Mastor played in the middle. Here comes Oba again. Oba Femi Martins, he's going to give up another shot at a hat trick. Because now it's four, the counterattacks right now, that is two in about two minutes. Absolutely destroying Fulham with counterattacks right now. I really want Oba to get his hat trick, but I can't pass up the opportunity of free goals. I mean, it's just too easy to get the goals the other way. There is the final whistle. Another convincing victory for this team over a very, very good Fulham team. They just couldn't handle it. When they pushed numbers forward, we pushed right back and hit them real quick for two goals. 
Four nothing really does not dictate. I mean, really represent how this game went. It really was closer than that, but we got the win nonetheless. Another three points coming home with the rave green. All right, it is time for the Capital One Cup quarterfinal. In the round of 16, we had undoubtedly the easiest opponent in Blackpool. In the quarterfinal now, we have undoubtedly the most difficult opponent in Chelsea. It's a midweek game coming three days after the game against Fulham and three days or four days before the next league game. We have to put reserves in there. I have no idea how, if there's any way we could come out with a win against Chelsea. I have no clue if it's even possible. But we're going to give it our best shot. Let's go. Here's a look at our starting 11 for this game at home, thank God, against Chelsea. Like I said, some reserves in there. Valdez, Barrett up top. Blin is in there as well as Saar in the left back spot. Rest of the lineup is pretty much the normal starting 11. And Chelsea's starting 11 for this game. Okay. All right. They don't have Hazard in there, which is good news for us. They do have Costa, though. It looks like a slightly rotated lineup, actually, from Chelsea. That gives me just a little bit of hope. Lynn, can you find some space over here to Barrett? Barrett. Turns and fires. What a save. Back in. Barrett again. Chad Barrett, another save. Man. That was some good shots right there. Those were really good opportunities for us to get on the board, but... I don't know how easy it's going to be to beat Courtois today. There we go. Lay it off there, yes. And up to Barrett. Barrett played in the middle. There's a man. Oh, it's going to fall down. No, Courtois. Why does he have to be nine feet tall? Damn it, you giant bitch. Get out of the middle. And another one. Boom. Marco. Oh, it's deflected. It was on his right foot anyway. I didn't really want to pull the trigger there, but I'm trying to get anything on target that I can. But I think it was Zuma back there that deflected it. Shit. Oh my god, they just brought on Eden Hazard. Alright, screw it, we're going for it. We're going for it as well, why not? Play it, yes! Come on, Marco. Oh yes! Marco, let it run! Come on, Marco! Let that ball run, put a ball in early! It's Oba! Oba! He put it over the... He put it over the bar! That was perfect! The ball was perfect, the play was perfect, the header was absolute shit! Oba, are you kidding me? Oh, fuck. Oh, my God, Hazard. Oh, what a block from Chad Marshall. Hazard just went through my defense like it wasn't even there. There you go. Come on, Marco. Shit. Shit, he's onside. Shit, he's onside. Oh, hit the crossbar. Get rid of that. Wow. Come on, there you go. Play that, actually, to Ozzy. Ozzy, play it. Into Oba, please get there. He does it. There's a shot. Fucking Yvonne Shits, are you kidding? God, we should win this game. We should absolutely win this game. We've had the better of the shots. We've had so many opportunities. We just can't get it in the back of the net. Extra time it is. Here we go. Another 30 minutes of football from CenturyLink Field. We should have the lead, though. We should have won this game already. I feel like we could win this thing. Then again, it could always end in heartbreak. You never know. We'll definitely take the ball. Come on, Yvonne Shits. Play it in the middle. There's Obafemi. Obafemi, get a shot off. He does it. It falls. I hit it right at the keeper. Please go in the back of the net. Ah, I screwed it up so bad. This game is getting way too far wide open right now. And now Willian is up the side. Come on, Sar. Get back and defend. Please. Oh, he just went around Sar. Chad Marshall's there. Here we go. Last half of, of extra time. If we can't get it here, it's going to go to Pens, and to be honest, I don't really want to go to Pens against Courtois and Chelsea. That does not really seem like it's going to benefit us that much. Ozzy up to Marco. Marco doesn't have the stamina to keep this going, though. Oh, nice play, Marco. Nice play, Marco. Come on, ref! That's a foul. We've got a free kick. All right, Ivan Shits. Please, please make this work, man. Please, I beg you. That's not bad. It's a pretty good free kick! It's right there! The tap in! It's in! We're gonna win this game! We just vanquished Chelsea! How in the hell did that work? Alexis Blin gets the game winner! What a free kick from Ivan Shits! He hit the post and it screwed Courtois over! Blin tapped it in! What a freaking goal! 
Oh, what a free kick from Ivanchin. I just want to see it one more time. It was perfect. Actually, it hit Courtois and then the post. And Blin, the positioning of dreams, just right there to tap it in on the doorstep. We just beat Chelsea. There it is. The final whistle, the final whistle straight after kickoff. Oh my god, 120 minutes without a goal from either side. And we snuck one in. And we beat Chelsea. I can't believe that. We actually just beat Chelsea. We beat Chelsea. All right, that was a hell of a game. A hell of a game. Probably the most fun I've had playing FIFA 16 thus far. And it would have been fun regardless if we won or lost. We had no business winning that game. We had no business beating Chelsea despite the fact that they threw out a reserve side, kind of, against us. Still shouldn't have won. Their quality should have been far superior to ours. But we hung in there, and we got it when it counted. So I'm so happy with that win. So happy, but... Like I said, we do have two uh, two games left against 23rd place Blackburn and then 21st place Ipswich. So let's get into it. Here we go. Blackburn is up first. We are on the road for this one, but they are in 23rd place, one spot off the bottom, and I have mostly the first choice starting 11 in there. Yedlin already scored a goal. We'll we'll quick we'll go through it quickly. Martins gets the second, actually the game winner in the 74th minute. Three points away at Blackburn. Good win for us. And the next game up is going to be on the road once again at Ipswich. The only change in there is going to be uh, Mastur coming in for Nagel. He did get a hyperextended knee in that last match. Only a seven-day injury, but he's not fully fit for this game. So Mastur will start in his place. We skip. We get a draw away at Ipswich. That's not too bad. Ivan just got our goal. We gave up a late equalizer. It's a little upsetting, but one point on the road. Not too bad. So that is going to do it for this episode. We remain 12 points clear of Columbus atop the table. Hull City continues their slide. I think they started off this season with 12 straight wins, and they haven't won a game in their last 12 matches. I have no idea what's going on with them. Maybe they've hit some injury problems. We've been very fortunate to not have really any injuries, except for the one little niggle that um, uh, that Nagel picked up last game that only kept him out a week. Other than that, we've really had no problems, so I'm very happy with that. Uh, and make sure to let me know in the comments, like I said, uh, what you think I should do about the Obafemi Martin situation or the striker situation in general. Remember, we also kind of need a left back, and I'd like some more depth in the right wing position as well. I had been using Mastor up there, but I found out he's much more effective in the center attacking mid spot. So that's really where I think he'll be playing in the future. So like I said, Nagel's really all we got up there in the right wing spot. We could use Papa up there or Guedes, but those are really the only three wingers that we have. I think we need some more depth up there as well, but... That is going to do it for this one. If you had as much fun as I did, make sure to let me know and leave a like below. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you when we come back for the transfer window in the Sounders career. See ya.